Dzień dobry from Poznan, Poland. Today I'm heading out of the centre of Poznan to an area that has been described as a supremely grey impoverished district. Polish pop punksters Pizama Pono once called it Satan's Lair. Let's go on a journey to Wilda and hope we don't get mugged. Well, I got through the first obstacle. So the reason why I've come to uh, Wilda is because it is home to the Edmund Schitt Stadium, former home of Varta Poznan Football Club. The stadium opened in 1929 and had a capacity of 60,000. It was meant to give the team and the residents of the city tremendous pride. Unfortunately, things didn't quite turn out that way. Within hours of opening, the uh, stems began to buckle and the uh, entire stadium had to be evacuated. Any chances of the stadium reopening were dashed when the Germans invaded Poland. And it was actually then used as a forced labour camp. And this is right in the middle of the city. So it's incredible that it's just been left. And I'd been warned to watch out for homeless people and, and to bring some beers down as an offering, but I haven't done. I can't see anyone yet. <laughs> I'm sh shitting myself a little bit, to be honest. So eventually it reopened in 1957. 60,000 people turned out to see Lech Poznan take on local rivals Zavistra Bidgosh. It's still the highest ever attendance for a second tier European football game. Once again the attendance has declined and the club started losing money and the stadium was sold and since then it's just been left to be reclaimed by nature. This would have been the old stands and all you can see is the uh, where the seats, the base to the seats. I've got to wash it because there is tons of glass around here and I'm guessing there's probably going to be a few syringes as well. This looks like some kind of pathway. I really wasn't expecting to uh, get in, to be honest. I don't know if I'm trespassing, so... And here are the, uh, the old goalposts, still here. See the other one in the distance. In the back of the net there. I'm torn between wanting to investigate further. I'm absolutely shitting myself. At every point when I've come in here, I've thought about turning around and going back. There are mixed feelings about it amongst the residents of Poznan. Some think it's uh, a great kind of urban exploration site, and others think it's uh, just a bit of a dump and a shame that it's just been left. Both really, isn't it? Okay. 
manage to uh, go through the whole site without actually seeing anyone or disturbing anyone. So this is this is where the chairs would be. Each one of these would have a plastic chair on it where the people would sit and cheer on their team. It's like a graveyard now. There's definitely signs of life here. Because there's uh, empty beer cans and there's tons of glass. I guess this is a place where Homeless people come and get drunk, shelter from their own. Right, it's my first bit of uh, urban exploration on this trip. It's quite exciting, it's uh, quite scary as well. Let's see what's over here. The perimeters would be where the turnstiles used to be, or the, the gates, the green entrance into the site. I'm presuming that means keep out. It's so inviting. So that would have been walking up to the uh, stadium. Stairs going down, all the seats at the side. You can just about make out the goalpost over there. I think this was once a huge stadium. And they played one game here before deciding it was unsafe. And then it was closed for many, many years. And then it was reopened. There's a 60,000 seater stadium. There's people definitely living in that park because there's pots and pans and everything over there. You can hear voices coming from inside there. Might be some kind of homeless shelter or something. Squatters. I don't know. So you can see there's uh, all these signs around telling you uh, admission is not allowed, but there's plenty of access points. So if you are interested, you don't need to sneak through the uh, gate like I did. You just walk around and eventually you will come to uh, a gap in the fence. So this used to be the old uh, toilets, stadium toilets. Which if we want to go in the old stadium toilet, it looks grim. Stadium toilets are grim at the best of times. Especially the ones that have been left to ruin for the past 40 years.
So this might have been the uh, main entrance to the stadium because this is the biggest building I've seen. Uh, on the perimeter of the actual uh, stadium. Good Christmas tree in there. I think this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, like kind of going into places where you're not exactly uh, supposed to be. It's quite a buzz to be honest, it's uh, scary but exciting at the same time. I think that's it then for the old abandoned football stadium. It was an interesting visit. I know it's not going to be for everyone. Um, it certainly uh, doesn't appear on any top 10 things to do in Poznan list on TripAdvisor. <laughs> um, but if you're into abandoned buildings or abandoned places and you like a bit of urban exploration, then uh, so right there, 20 minutes walk outside of the city centre. It's as much as part of uh, Poznan's history as uh, anywhere. And it's just bizarre how, uh, you know, this huge football stadium used to be there. And it's just been left to rot away and for nature to reclaim it. I was feeling a bit anxious in there. I didn't see anyone until right at the end. I was outside the, uh, the fencing anyway by then. But what an interesting place. All these look luxury hotels. You look out your window, what do you see? An old ruined stadium.